bring in Michael Jaffer. He's big case Mike. He's a national trial attorney, and he's uh, ready to chime in here. What do we think should happen? The you know th these jurors. It seems like both sides are admitting they've heard from jurors that ha are claiming they came to unanimous verdicts of not guilty on two of the three charges. So what to do? Ted, I hate this, and the reason I hate this is because I hate Karen Reed. And the reason I hate Karen Reed is because I think she's a con artist and a charlatan. But unfortunately, I actually agree with her attorneys for the first time on this specific day. I do want the jury to be pulled because here's the thing. Double jeopardy is a constitutional right. It's not something that, you know, when the framers put the Constitution together, you know, the Fifth Amendment, you know, the first 12 amendments, they didn't say, well, one day in the future, if you use a typewriter or a computer or whatever the case may be, and you don't check the right box, you know, the Constitution obviously doesn't apply. They didn't say that, right? It's a constitutional promulgation every American has it. So if in fact those jurors were unanimous on the first and third charge, unfortunately this charlatan deserves her, she deserves to have her day held. She deserves to have that. She deserves the constitutional right that support to all Americans, right? So I think what's going to happen today is the judge, especially with the looming specter of this conspiracy hoax over this case, right? I think this judge has no choice but to at least cede ground to the defense and let them poll the jury. They're not going to do it today. But I don't see this judge. This judge has called this case right so far. She has not made any mistakes. I've been very proud of her. I've been very proud of the job she has done. So I think she's going to stay in line, stay on brand, and do the right thing again. Remember, she sent the jury back three times when they came back and they said that they're deadlocked. She really wanted a verdict. So I think she's going to latch on to the fact that they're, that. The, the defense is saying, hey, there was a verdict on the first and third charge. Let's go ahead and dispense of these so we don't have to try them again. I just don't see how this judge will say no to that because it's such a reasonable request. So for that reason, I think that the judge is going to move forward and give the defense what they want. That doesn't mean that Karen Reed is going to be acquitted today. That means that they're going to they're going to set up a they have a procedure for this, by the way, where they'll bring the jury back without cameras present. They'll pull them and they'll find out what happened. And hey, the jury might come back and say, no, we were deadlocked. There were two of us that did not agree. Right. We don't know, but we will know. I just don't think this judge is going to throw this out and say, now nah, you know what the the form was filled out in a certain way. We're done. She she has every right to be upset. By the way, with the jury for a uh, four person, but I don't think she's going to say no uh, just out of hand and say we're not going to even go down this thread.